Yeah, it's good to see everybody. Uh, thought it was a, a really, really good series win for us. It had a regional feel to it. I thought our fan base was outstanding all weekend, uh, especially considering the weather two out of three days. Uh, and even yesterday was cold. It just wasn't cold in comparison to Saturday. Uh, but they were certainly a force out there. Uh, thought our kids played well. They hustled. A lot of, lot of compete to us, a lot of intent. And uh, it was just two good teams going at it. That's as good a set of position players as, as we'll see probably uh, when you look at age and, and uh, experience. And, you know, they're center fielders for real. I was in love with their first baseman. Their shortstop's a stud. Uh, their third baseman's just a sophomore. He's going to have a really big uh, career. And, and their left fielder, you know, they, they hurt us with their defense. And uh, we kind of did the opposite for them on Saturday and, and kind of gift wrapped one. Uh, felt like we should have had all three. Uh, but they're probably saying the same thing over there. So uh, it's good to get two out of three, get off to a good start, pitched a bunch of guys, uh, and, and really liked the way we pitched it. And uh, obviously got some areas we need to get better at, uh, like knowing the outs, uh, <laughs> how to tag from third. Uh, I don't know, little things like that. So with that, I'll open it up. It's a good week for us. Uh, McNeese is always tough on the road. Uh, great atmosphere over there. There'll be a ton of Cajuns out, I guarantee you. And then uh, an improved rice ball club coming to town this weekend. You mentioned their position players, but yet your pitchers held into like a 208, and they've got, you've got like a three TV RA right now. What were you doing well? We executed a ton of pitches. We just didn't have our best stuff. And I think the weather obviously played a, a part in that. Plus, the season's so young. Coming off a of tough spring training and, and right into the season, sometimes you experience a little bit of fatigue or dead arm uh, for the first week or two, and then that'll bounce back. Uh, Jack learned an important lesson on Friday, one without his best stuff. Uh, obviously, he wasn't credited with the win, but uh, he might as well have four innings and one hit ball. Uh, without his best stuff. And, uh, you know, there were several out there that, that just didn't have their best, best stuff like we've seen them, and they will. But they still executed pitches when they had to. Uh, won a lot of at-bats uh, with a runner at third, less than two. Marsh had a big one. Fluno had a couple of them. Uh, and then, really, I thought the difference in the series – was what we had left yesterday versus what they had left. And I think you saw really the entire tide and momentum shift when Matty Holtzhammer uh, came into the game. It, it can be a little bit demoralizing uh, when you haven't seen a guy all weekend. And then he comes in with the stuff and intent that he that he showed for an inning there. And you, you, I've been on that side. Of, we were on that side of it versus Miami last year in a regional. They're, they run a guy 96, 98 in the third or fourth game of a regional. And we counter with, you know, upper 80s, 90. Uh, no disrespect to anybody, but that that's, that's tough sledding all day. And so to know that we've got that down there and if this game keeps going any further, what else do they have? It, it can ding you a little bit mentally. And I think that led to our, our eighth inning outburst as well. Looking down the road, are you going to have to fight to not use LP too much or is that not a thing? Oh, that's a thing. I wish we had like two or three of them. Uh, that's a thing. And, yeah, I think Gunner's probably the voice of reason on that side of it. Uh, he's more like Coach Robe than he is like me. So that's probably a good thing because uh, I like LP. And I, it's an easy riding fastball. It's kind of like a, a tracer. And it just shoots out of there. And, and uh, it's hard to find. It's hard to find. And and yesterday's outing speaks to that, right? They've got him. They've got him naked. I mean, out there pretty much. They know he's got to throw a strike. And they know what's coming, still can't get to it. In left field, you play Maddox, you play Luke. They're very different skill sets, those two. And just look at them. So is that going to be a matchup situation? Or how, how do you play that for the next year? I think we're still figuring that out. You know, I think – for the foreseeable future, uh, invest kind of like we did with Kierstead in 13, invest at bats into Josh Alexander. It's a big league talent. So is Luke. So is Raymond LaFleur. Uh, you know, as long as they can give us something, we can invest in them. Because 
like it or not, you've got to work to win every game with RPI hanging over your head. And uh, you just do. I wish it wasn't that way, but it is. I wish you could pick a subset of games and say, these are our RPI games. Or maybe RPI starts after conference, uh, but it doesn't. And so uh, that's uh, that ties your hands. Uh, like you said, two different skill sets. Maddox is certainly a better outfielder than he showed defensively. He's a center fielder in high school. I mean, he's a, he's a player. This guy is a game changer. Uh, but like I told the team yesterday, you know, he's kind of like a, a kid that for some reason mom and dad gave him a Ferrari when he turned 16, and he doesn't know how to drive it yet. And he's got to learn how to control that speed, uh, either when to use it or when not to, and back down a little bit off the throttle. And when, you, when he does, you're going to see, like we've seen a bunch, there's some game-changing ability there. Luke Uhas, same thing. When he learns how to hit and command the strike zone and use the whole field, like you saw him do this weekend, he's going to become a force. He really is. So there's still a, you know, there's a couple, two or three spots that you could see a little bit of a revolving door. I thought Broussard gave us a huge spark yesterday. And, uh, you know, so that was good to see. And there's some others over there that didn't even get in. And, and uh, so we'll see how that shakes out moving forward. How do you write Jose? <coughs> I thought he did a tremendous job receiving and uh, blocking. Uh, his energy is off the charts. He's infectious, and I think the fan he's already a fan favorite, uh, which I figured that would be the case because he's just got that type personality. Uh, we, we've got to do a better job. We're 9 of 11 stolen bases this weekend, and I think we hit, in other words, guessed right on three pitch outs. <clears throat> executed one of them, that's got to change. And uh, moving forward, and I think it can uh, be it. And when we're – our guys on a bump are working to give them a chance. Uh, some of that's personnel-driven, just facing some – we pitch out on uh, – what's the leadoff hitter's name? Uh, Patrick. We pitch out on him. He's safe by a step. I mean, some of it's just game-changing speed. Uh, but we can still – Get those pop times down. If we can get the pop to two flat, two one on the money, you're going to have a, a legitimate chance. But right every time they stole, it was, it was a change. Yeah, I mean, they picked some good counts to run in, too. And uh, But some of it, too, is a, a product of our pitching. I'm not going to sacrifice everything. I'm not going to sacrifice stuff to stop the running game. The best way to stop the running game is to get the hitter. And I think y'all saw us do a pretty good job of that over the weekend. Are there certain relievers you want to get in tomorrow? What's the plan there? Uh, you know, not – there's – I've got a couple in mind. I'd like to get Murphy Brooks out there at some point. Uh, you know, Moody needs to get out there. Uh, but there's not – you know, we're showing up to, to compete and throw our best and, and work to win that game on the road. So who is – in? Or did we see yesterday that Orgo was the backup catching? It seemed like you got a lot of catching options on a day that you might not play. Over. We do. I think I think Jose and and Worgy right now give us our best chance. Okay, uh, just from look, what any pitcher wants is just a, a pillow to throw into. They want a guy that's soft and going to present the baseball is very inviting. Doesn't lose strikes for him. He can still a strike or two. I think throwing would be a distant third on that list. Uh, like it or not. But both of those guys can really handle the pitching staff. They can block, they can receive, they can steal strikes. And I think they're just ahead of the other two. <laughs>